Hey there. All right. Coming to you from hot Washington. I know. It's not hot for a lot of you, but 90, 95 degrees today is hot. I know. I grew up in Arizona. I was there when it was 122. So, I've gotten spoiled here in the last 10 years. Anyway, today, I'm going to talk about whether you should use Reline It. denture fit. I don't know where my box of reline it went. Not that it matters. It's just an empty box. But either way. So. Okay. I've had dentures two weeks short of a year. <clears throat> and they hurt at first, obviously. Like most dentures do. Then I got a soft reline about a month, two months <clears throat> after, and I discovered the joys and relief of a soft reline. So that was great. The soft relines, they don't last forever. So I went ahead a few months later after that one had pretty much worn away and got the reline kit. I wish I had the box uh, from Walmart did that pretty good I mean it wasn't as good as the bidenture lady but for being some fat 40 something year old <clears throat> I was happy with it did that once or twice and then a friend of mine he sent me some denture fit which <clears throat> if you look online you look in Facebook groups People swear by it. So I was excited. Did it. Put it on the bottom. Put it on my tops. At that point, even with the reline it, I was still using it. I was using adhesive because I hadn't really trained my mouth to hold my dentures in while eating well enough. The bottoms. Okay, first of all, reline it. When I was using the reline it, I was using the adhesive, right? Never had a problem the adhesive it stuck well stuck too good of course like every adhesive does seems like but then when the reline it started to go get thin and wear away I applied the denture fit to the tops and the bottoms <clears throat> when I applied it to them the bottoms the so denture fit is totally different material than the reline it kit this is like a smooth silicone. I couldn't get adhesive to stick to the bottoms. The tops, it snugged them up enough where I really didn't need adhesive. So I quit using adhesive on the tops for the most part. Every now and then, if we're going out to eat or something, going away for the day, I would use it <laughs> just for peace of mind. So. I didn't like it on the bottom so I peeled it out which comes out came out really easily just like whole thing peeled right out and I redid the bottom with the, the reline it it was good I like I ended up liking the reline it better on the bottom so I left it still used adhesive for a while I need like a chart to what I did everything but so then, finally, the top, uh, the denture fit, I was going to get my hard reline. So I peeled it out. And then, COVID hit. So I didn't get a hard reline. So I didn't have any more denture fit. So I just put reline it back in there. And it worked very well. I was very happy with it. I'd started going without adhesive at all. So, Reline It was my go-to. I'd replace it maybe once a month, something like that. Wasn't wearing adhesive. <clears throat> I was really happy. I was making really good progress. So, finally, a month ago, two months ago, I actually got my hard reline. Now, that means basically 
felt like I was starting over. Sore spots. I had the top of it, like, kind of point. It felt pointy. It was digging in. Back over here, I had other issues. I took them in the next week. They f fixed everything up. I was good. Didn't hurt anymore. But a friend of mine sent me another thing of denture fit. Which is those. Although the hard red line was great and better, they're still. I mean, they're yeah, they're hard dentures. They're not the most comfortable thing. Sometimes I've gotten used to the cushioning of either the reline it or the denture fit. So I applied the denture fit to the tops and the bottoms. And I don't know if I did something different this time. I swear I followed everything, directions the same. <coughs> Only different ones was I did it out here in my garage instead of upstairs in the bathroom, but it shouldn't have really made a difference. It wasn't hot then, so. But it just felt, I did it the first time months ago. It was fairly thick on these tops. Now, when I did it a couple months or two ago, it was really thin, so it almost didn't even feel like it was there. So, I dealt with that for like a day or two, or a week, I think it's about a week. And it just, I could still feel some pain points, sore spots. So, I decided to take that out. That was difficult this time because I did it really thin or something. I did something wrong. Or I don't know. My mouth's weird now. So, peeled all that out. Peeled it out of the bottom. And went back to the relining kit. The $5 kit from Walmart. And overall, I like the relining kit better from Walmart. One thing is cheaper. Five bucks. You can do your tops and your bottoms. This is like sixty dollars. That's you know, do the math, that's twelve relining kits. Most people seem to like denture fit more. It's kinda I've realized with dentures, adhesives, everything else, it's everybody's different. You know, I may like Reline better. The guy down the street is going to sore out stuff, the worst stuff on earth, and he's going to go with this. Some people like cushion grip, which I have not tried yet. I think I'm going to look into getting some of that <clears throat> for good things about that as well. So, once I start realizing this reline I have in now is going, getting thin and worthless, I'm probably going to look at getting some cushion grip. Why not? Um... But yeah, I've had to reline it in now for a month, roughly. First, I was using adhesive again because I, once I use it once, I realize how much I like the security, but I don't really need it. And I haven't worn it for like the last week. So it's all of whether it's worth the hassle at the end of the evening, cleaning the junk off your gums. You know, you just soak your dentures overnight, which I do. And they can't, all that adhesive will come off. But the five, ten minutes of annoyance, is it worth the adhesive? For me right now, it's not. Unless I'm going out, we're going on a road trip the other day. And I glued them in just because I'd just rather feel good about it. But overall, I don't need adhesive with the reline it. So, in my opinion, I like reline it better. That doesn't mean it's better. Just, I like it better. A lot of people like powdered adhesive better. <laughs> Some people like the cream paste adhesive better. Some people swear by secure, which tried all of them 
so far I like powder better, but I have secure. I haven't used it in a while. Actually, I don't think I've used it since I've had a reline and all that, so I might, next time I decide to throw some adhesive in, I will tr <laughs> Psst, go. Come here. All right. Some neighbor cat just tried to walk in the garage. Every now and then kind of walks by, but this time he took like two f steps in. It's an orange cat. Um, I got a black cat and a tabby cat. I'm not tabby. Oh, not tabby. Torty. Not a huge orange cat fan. Anyway, so I like reline it better. Take that for what you want. That's just my opinion. But if you're curious about trying it, I would honestly try that first before you buy the denture fit, just for the fact that it's five dollars, roughly five and change. You can get it at Walmart, you know, your Kroger, Walgreens, CVS. You can get it anywhere like that, probably. I get mine at <clears throat> Walmart. I've gotten it at Walgreens once. Um, denture fit, you got to get it online. So. I think it's worth it just to try it. You may not like it. Both of them seem complicated when you're applying them the first time. Denture Fit has a lot of good instructions. They have a phone number you can call if you ever have any problems. All that good stuff. They're re it's really helpful. It looks complicated. If you just stop, read the directions, think about it, process it, read them again maybe. It's not that bad. Same with the reline it. Some people like to put the um, put them in the freezer, like it says, for like a half hour. I always put mine in the freezer for probably usually have one sitting in the freezer at all times. So the longer you you put it in the freezer, the longer it takes for it to set, so you have more time to get it perfect in your mouth. So. Alright guys, that's it. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the don't like button. Do whatever you want. But you should hit the subscribe button. I'm going to go ahead and continue sweating out here. It's hot for me now. It's the first video I think I've made without a hoodie on. So, there you go. You know how hot that is. Alright, I'm done. Thanks guys.